Servicing SmartBench to ensure that the X and Y axes are square can take a few steps, depending on how much needs to be done. We have created a series of videos with all you need to know. I'm going to summarise what each video covers and provide links in the description if you know where you want to go. If you're unsure, we recommend watching them in order. At the end of this video, you'll be able to click on the next video in the sequence. This video describes the basic concept of how the wheel adjusters work, so you can correctly set the preloads for the bearing wheels. You don't need to watch the whole of this video, just the first four minutes. This video covers how to square the lower X beam against the legs by applying the correct preload to the wheels on the lower beam. This video is for anyone who has purchased a version 1 smart bench and would like to upgrade their smart bench by retrofitting our newly designed skid plates. These new skids are adjustable and allow you to square your upper X beam to the Y bench. This video will explain how you can use our latest adjustable skid design in order to square your upper X beam against the Y bench. Before adjusting the racks, you would need to calibrate the Y axis. Here's our video on how to use the calibration app. This video covers how you can adjust your Y racks to ensure they are of equal pitch. Although uncommon, it is possible for your racks to expand or retract in transport, especially if there are any adverse change in temperatures. So if you've been seeing inaccuracies out of tolerance, this would be a good thing to check. Finally, we explain the difference between auto squaring and manual squaring, which gives you the option to perform a quick square or a precision square based on your needs. Click here to go to our wheel setting basics video, or check out the description for links to our other videos. Thank you.